Okay, everyone, uh, welcome back. This is Amin Mojara with uh, Imagination Everywhere and uh, the Rhea Institute. And this is the fifth uh, tutorial in the Visual Web Developer Series. Um, and this time we're going to start to work with templates um, because the bottom line is, is the way that you're going to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript quickly is by being able to customize and learn the code uh, by uh, studying templates. So I want to do something today that I think you guys will really like. Um, I want to show you how to use templates in, stu in Visual Studio or Visual Web Developer and I also want to be able to show you the effect of the light box which is a popular um, effect that's, that's, that's being promoted by the prototype uh, JavaScript library and its plugin Scriptaculous. So let's go to the Lightbox website um, and uh, if you don't know what, uh, what Lightbox is, here is the URL um, huddletogether.com and Lightbox to download and you can just put a Lightbox in Google and it will it, it will get there for you. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to download uh, the Lightbox which is all we have to do is press the download button and we're going to I'm going to save it in the JavaScript library that I have under the folder uh, under the photo I mean the folder um, uh, prototype since that's the JavaScript library that this runs on so let's go ahead and save it we've got it downloaded let's open up its folder um, and let's go ahead and unzip it real quick we can delete the zip file and now since we have it downloaded in our system we can go ahead and open up Visual Studio and what we're going to go do is we're going to go open a new website I mean open an existing website and we're going to scroll to our JavaScript folder uh, which is prototype right there we're going to open it up and voila here we go so let's go ahead and run it we can uh, do it without debugging but more so let's just go ahead and view it in the browser and as we can see here is our, here's our page here's our example we can click on it and voila here we have this is the light box effect that we want to go ahead and create so in the last videos we knew how to style divs knew how to place images in them so now we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, show you how to uh, edit a template so let's go back into a Visual Studio and what we're going to do the key thing to know about editing templates whenever you see um, information like in your head uh, situation like see these scripts right here the JavaScript uh, uh, references these are the links that, that that basically make your page come active they already have a style sheet linked here um, they have the lightbox JS 2.0 test page in the title um, and they already have some they have some inline styles too that we saw but what we can do is we can go ahead and we can get rid of all this let's go ahead and get rid of all this keep the script tags and keep the uh, the hyperlink uh, the, the link tag to the style sheet and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and erase all of this so let's go ahead and erase all of this and all this stuff is in the body so we want the body to be empty alrighty and what we're gonna have to do also is we're gonna have to import some stuff so when we go up here is we go uh, to the solution explorer we're going to right click and we're going to add an existing item and we're going to add two existing items what we're going to do is we're going to go to another folder that I had created my websites and uh, actually no okay so what we're going to do is we're going to import some assets into our uh, website so we're going to go right click and we're going to go to the desktop I have these assets already set up on the desktop and 
and there are four pictures and we're going to go ahead and import those so they're in our website and we're going to do two anchor tags so let's go ahead and copy and paste and control K control D and we're going to give it href and the first reference is we're going to reference to the first thumbnail image that I imported in and what we're going to do is we're going to get a, a, a relative property and what we're going to say here is light box and uh, we'll give it a title of uh, think big act now alright and then in between the anchor tag we're going to put an image tag we're going to say the source is going to be image one and we have to give it an alt attribute as you know and we're going to say think big act truck alrighty and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and close it off self closing tag and what we'll do is we'll just copy this anchor tag and image tag within it and we'll just do a control V oops I didn't get the there we go alright so instead of uh, saying thumb one we're gonna say thumb two because that's already in the uh, it's already over here in the in the in the menu thumb two and uh, we're gonna say image two right here that's as quickly as you can say and uh, we're gonna just say think big uh, truck two and think big I messed up uh, what I meant to put here is the image one for the link and image two for the uh, for the second link and the thumb thumbnails in the actual uh, as the actual uh, uh, links so let's go ahead and view this in the browser here we go and we go ahead and click it and a light box opens up think big act now all we have to do is re click off of that uh, think big truck too so as you can see um, I gotta work on the the sizing of the elements uh, I kinda messed up on that but as you can see that uh, we you know we, we, we were able to customize a page we were able to link it and it's just basically easier for you to you know just import the template in and erase all the stuff that you don't want to erase because you don't want to erase this JavaScript stuff just you want to already have it um, imported in and those pages are located are referenced here the, in this folder right here and the CSS sheet is is referenced here so it's basically easier to do it like that so what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, go ahead and explain all this um, in the next video so thank you and we'll see you in the next video